to Vanuatu, which was hit really hard by a cyclone recently. 70% of the population there is now homeless, and every school has been either badly damaged or destroyed. Emma found out how the country is getting back on its feet. When Cyclone Pam hit Vanuatu, it ripped up trees, destroyed buildings and flattened whole towns. Amongst all that was nine-year-old Shana. She stayed in her house with her family, but the rain caused it to flood. Do you remember the Cyclone Alice right here? Yeah. How did you feel? I feel scary. Vanuatu is here, in the South Pacific. It's made up of about 82 islands. Vanuatu is known for its warm, tropical weather, and it's these conditions that help create cyclones. Here's how. If the surface of the sea gets above 26.5 degrees Celsius, water starts to evaporate. This warm, humid air then rises into the sky. As it moves up through the atmosphere, it releases heat and water, making thunderclouds. This process can kickstart a chain reaction, evaporating more water and making bigger clouds. The last ingredient needed to make a cyclone is the rotation of the Earth, which causes the clouds to spin around faster and faster. The middle of the cyclone is called the eye. It's actually nice and calm. The walls of the cyclone are totally different. Here, the wind is the strongest, and it's these wind speeds that help experts classify cyclones. There are five different categories of cyclone. Category 1 is the lowest, and Category 5, with wind speeds of 280 k's an hour or more, is the highest. Cyclone Pam's wind speeds were more than 320 k's an hour. Shana's house was damaged by the storm. The light was broken soon and fell in my yard. And then the rain ran hard, so it went to open the shutter and it got to a bed. Then we had to move into another bedroom or another bedroom. Shana lives on the main island of Afati, but a lot of the country's smaller islands have also been really badly damaged. The only way to get to many of them is by boat, so relief workers like these ones haven't been able to travel there to see if everyone's okay. We don't know. There's no water, so Near Shana's home, a lot of people don't have any power or running water, so aid groups like World Vision are working hard to give people food to eat and fresh drinking water. And of course cooking and food is of absolute paramount importance, so therefore we provide kitchen sets, basic utensils for, for cooking, for boiling water, uh, for knives and forks to enable uh, families to make use of food provided uh, by other agencies. Evacuation centres have also been set up, so people without a home can stay somewhere safe. And kids can't go to school because almost all the schools in Vanuatu were damaged or destroyed by the cyclone. I don't go to school anymore because the virus is so bad. No school no work. It's a bit early yet, but World Vision are hoping to get a temporary school set up eventually, so that kids like Shana can start to recover from this disaster. It's going to take a very long time for everything to get back to normal, but the people living here love their home, and they want to work hard to make Vanuatu beautiful again.